Hey everyone, hi. So today I'm going to do a tutorial that was actually requested to me. Um, it was requested to me in the comments of one of my hair tutorials. I believe it was like the voluminous waves or something like that. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. Ah. Okay, so um, this person wrote to me. She said that she had long curly hair and that she wanted a way to wear it to school. So this works for school or work. And she doesn't want to like keep it down and it's like really long and curly right so um basically I don't have curly hair so I asked my mom to recommend some products to me and to give me some tips and I bring her in the video to show you guys what we came up with together um, so yeah so to start off you're obviously gonna want your want uh, to wet your hair or have your hair wet um, and use a wide tooth comb to take out all your tangles and when you dry your hair you're going to take a towel and you're just going to scrunch like so and gently take out the excess and once you're ready um, she recommends using either a pomade or a gel and or a mousse something that's not going to make your hair crispy so if you have one that has too much alcohol it's just just stay away from it because you're just going to have crispy spirals um, like curly fries or something <laughs> so she recommends Paul Mitchell's uh, Super Sculpt and this retails for $10.99 or more Canadian something like that she got it on sale and this has been her favorite and yeah then after that you would blow dry your hair with a diffuser now this one isn't the greatest the great like the best ones are the ones with all the teeth that kind of like just look like this but with teeth and you're gonna want to blow dry your hair again like so just scrunching and yes diffuser and finally at the very end of your styling when everything is pretty much dry you're gonna want to use some shine mist you spray this all over this is actually from um, shoppers drug mart so I don't know if you can find this in um, the states because it's an um, it's a Canadian product not American so um, I'm sure you can find something like this it makes your hair shiny after you blow dry it so it's kind of better than like a like something like BioSilk Silk Therapy because Silk Therapy you gotta work it through your hair but you don't want to run anything through your hair when it's already you know full on curls so this is way better so you just spray this on and finally last but not least to touch up the curls that you're gonna pull out of your hairdo when you put your hair up um, I recommend um, you know just your simple like thin barreled uh, curling iron sorry like we we're ready to put this away um, this one's by Conair and it's called Conair Instant Heat. So really simple, like you would just use it like your regular, well, regular old curling iron. Um, except for this is for spiral curls. So only for the front, not to do your whole head because this would just take five years. And you wouldn't do your whole head because your hair is already full of spirals. So if you want to watch this tutorial, if you have curly hair and you're interested, please stay tuned. This is my mom. Hmm. <laughs> She's just gonna smile. Hi. <laughs> just so weird. <laughs> this is probably the only time you'll ever see her in a video. Maybe. Okay. So, um, the first look is going to be using bobby pins. Um, my personal preference is to use, like, the large ones, but that's up to you. And basically, what I'm gonna do... Oh, I was about to put it in my mouth to hold it, but I can't. Is... I'm gonna take a piece in the front. Just, like, a random piece. So I'm not gonna, like, run my fingers through it or anything because you don't want to disturb the curl and basically like I'm gonna twist upwards like so and I can use a bobby pin to ooh sorry did that hurt? no it's no. okay <laughs> I don't know if you can see that and you can wear it like so or you can do it to the other side you can leave a hair out if you want kinda looks cute and you can still do this look obviously with long like long curly hair if you have like a piece like I have like a rounded piece that's sticking up you can bobby pin it down with like a smaller bobby pin or you could just reshape it because like this one's just not kind of like tuck it in he's not cooperating he doesn't want to cooperate 
You can also use really cute clips, like mom has these like little, little, little cute butterflies, and but you can use anything to replace your bobby pin. It's just that obviously the bobby pin is going to be like a lot tighter of a hold. Okay, look number two. Okay, so what did you say? Bring the hair back? Yeah, you bring the hair back. Okay. Um, Just be gentle with the curls. Okay, and fine. Then... Take over. <laughs> Even better. Just if you're you gentle with the curls because you don't want to, you don't want your hair to be straight curl, right? and disturb the curl. And you just leave like a little bit of hair on the sides like that. Yeah, so it's like a half And then up here, basically. covering your ears if you want. And you have it messy over here and you just clip it here. Okay. Right here. But I'm going to use bobby pins. Is that okay? Uh, you can use a clip or you can use those like okay, put right, them right that. across. You're like going to help me now? One. And then you put the other one right across the opposite way. Hold on. I know that. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Wait. Take your hand away. Okay. Take your hand away. <laughs> I'm holding it. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we crisscross them, but it would work better better with a clip clip because yeah, just, with a know, with a clip actually your hair will stay up, you know, <laughs> and it will be like uh, messy and it looks cute. Is this they look like yeah, Carrie Dawson Sex in the City? Is the girl she? I think she copied me because that's the way I do my hair. Yeah, Carrie <laughs> from Sex and the City does this a lot with like her hair like with super her. long because she has natural curly hair just like mine. Yeah, I mean okay. <laughs> but it, except for like yours is not blonde. For look number two, uh, three, actually this is number three, we want to do an updo. Um, you can do this if your hair is long except for you don't have to like grab everything and like do like a, I'll actually I'll show it because I have long hair. So pretend my hair is curly and grab everything and kind of twist and put your clip here so that like all your curly hair is everywhere. But since my mom has shorter hair, um, I'm going to show like kind of like the short hair version of it. Right, so I'm going to grab everything. Should I use an elastic? Yeah, you could use an elastic. Okay, yeah, Just you bring can... it gently all out. Okay, pretend I'm gentle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pretend. Uh, you can leave strand out, but hers are like really thick, so I don't really feel like it. Okay, did I get everything? I think I did. Uh, you can take an elastic yeah, this way. and kind of that really loosely. Yeah, you can also do a, like a loose bun. That would look really great too. But since her hair's like really, it's a lot shorter now. I can't. Uh, we can't twist it. We don't want to twist it, right? <laughs> can kind of do a messy bun but that's exactly what the updo would look like if she had long hair and like had twisted it but since like this looks like wild <laughs> you can actually take the excess pieces and clip them down I'm gonna use my big uh, bobby pins but you can use the small ones and uh, you can like pin little pieces into place little curls into place so that mm -hmm. it looks alright so yeah. show um, it's okay if it's a little bit messy because it's curly hair. Yeah, it's curly it's, hair. And it looks cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's always gonna be messy. If you there, if there's a piece that wants to come out, you can let you it can come let out. You can let pieces come out. If you want, you can use the curling iron and just like if you want to touch up. Yeah. You touch can touch it up and leave one here and leave on the other yeah. side. So cute. you wanna like turn so they can see. See, it's not crazy anymore. Yeah, it's not crazy. You can see from the background. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, so if your hair is longer, you're going to want to twist it and then let the excess be on the top and then pin it down, whatever looks too crazy. <laughs> and have fun with curly that. hair. Yeah, have fun with curly hair. Because cause... it's not easy to work with curly hair, but you have to just be gentle so you don't disturb the curls. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. Though. Thumbs up for moms on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, I hope you liked this. I only did three looks, but I think there's just like a really, there's like a big lack of curly hair videos on YouTube, huh? Yeah. I try to find stuff and I just do stuff with my hair because I like to try different products. <laughs> yeah. And different stuff, but there's no like hair tutorials for curly yeah. people. Nope. They don't um, like you. No, I know. It's too bad yeah. because curly hair is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's really easy to do actually, sometimes, yeah. when the curl wants to work. When it wants to work with you. Yeah. When. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for another one of my videos and don't forget to check out my blog. Thanks. Bye. Bye.